Some families in Oshun State accused Fountain University of encroaching into their farmlands in its quest for expansion. These families are the Alawaye, Alajo, Olufon, and Weso families. They want 87.109 acres of their land allegedly in dispute returned to them. They claim all efforts to get the school to come to terms with them have proven unfruitful. Join us. It's been eight years since these families, Alawaye, Alajo, Olufon, and Waso in Oshobo, were drawn into a tussle with our tertiary institution in Oshun State, known as Fountain University. At the core of the battle are farmlands, measuring 87.109 acres, which the families alleged were encroached upon by Fountain University. According to the spokesperson of the family who took us round the disputed land, Fountain University intended to expand its territory and without due process, forcibly annex their farmlands which bothered the university. When it was Muslim grammar school, we are living peacefully because there's no rancor, there's no fighting and they, didn't, uh, they did not tamper with our land. As soon as the land, the Muslim grammar school was allotted to the Fountain University, now, they started to encroach on our land. And we tell them, no, we are not giving, we are not giving out free land. We didn't have our land. We are not giving out it out for any of them or for their development purposes. Thereafter, they used force and they cited their force hostel on our land. They were bulldozing their, our land. I said all the, all the farmland, all the plantings, all the cassavas were being bulldozed. Even there's one, because we shared we the land to some of our children to erect their own uh, residence. One of these uh, uh, uncompleted buildings was pulled down. I, I have the full photograph of all these things. We took the photograph. So, based on this, because some of, uh, some of us, like myself, we are still doing agri agriculture, we are still farming on the land, so in order to be able to feed our children and to send them to school. All these things have been stopped. The families confirmed to Channels Television that some of their members have died in the course of the various legal battles they've had to contend with, which have drained them of their meager funds. They obviously couldn't withstand the war chest of their opponents and are not too proud to appeal for help. <laughs> Several calls and visits to the university for response are yet to yield any results. We hope to still follow up on them. Until an amicable settlement is reached among these parties involved, the deprivation and intimidation suffered by these families might continue. An all too familiar case of how the mighty thrive at the expense of the poor. Eyewitness Report is always your go to platform if you want to get the attention of relevant authorities to any area of concern. All you need to do is to take a short and post on our eyewitness platform, which you can find in the Channels TV app. Download it if you haven't yet. Launch and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and upload your photos or videos. Now let's see what you already uploaded for the week. This set of photos shows the state of Lagos Abelkuta Expressway. A road user sent in the short says Alakuko, Ijaye, Mashilashi bus stops. Trucks get stuck there every day causing huge traffic. He also claims that cars and buses have abandoned the route and have now resorted to using inner roads to Abuliegba. This set of photos and videos show some Reverend Sisters leading a protest against rape, domestic violence, child abuse and other forms of crime against humanity. Rape. 
The march across the street of Satellite Town in Lagos was terminated at the local council secretariat where they voiced their support for the fight against perpetrators of these criminal acts. We'll be very, very happy to collaborate with you to make sure that our society is free of these vices, that people will be free and secure to move about and even to sleep in their houses peacefully. Next are pictures showing the dilapidated state of Modo Primary Health Center, Warewa, if for local government area of Ogun State. The government-owned institution is in a state of disrepair and has become everything but modal. Our eyewitness who visited the center says the facility is a sorry sight and completely bereft of everything that makes our healthcare center inviting and hospitable. The health center has failed to meet its expectation of serving the health needs of Warua and other populated neighboring communities in Ifo and Obafemi Owode local government areas. He therefore wants the local and state authorities to step into the matter. Those are your shots to keep them coming next week. Let's do it again. Till then, I'm Chris Elems, and I'll keep my eyes on you.